¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Soy Piero de Radio Planeta y el día de hoy estoy con el gran Fred y, y Luca de Young eh, Giant Rooks. ¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? How are you guys? Very well, thanks for having us. It's such a pleasure to have you here and I know you are gonna have a very good experience here in Peru. But did you imagine at any point being here in our country? No, not really. It's a, it's, it's a very nice surprise, honestly. It's such a great pleasure and such a huge privilege that Louis asked us uh, to be part of this tour and uh, it's just amazing. And yeah, we already had a very, very beautiful time here in Peru, in Lima, because uh, we had a day off yesterday, like a travel day. We traveled here yesterday and we went to a very, very nice and uh, very delicious and, and cozy Peruvian um, a restaurant yesterday and we had some very, like I would say, typical Peruvian dishes and it was amazing, amazing. Okay. Some, some pisco sour too, so... <laughs> please, Cheers. please be gentle on Cheers. us today. <laughs> can you remind you the? Can you uh, remember the name of the restaurant? It was Ast Astrid and uh, Gaston. Ah, Gaston, yeah, yeah, yeah it was amazing. I can really recommend it, but you probably know it. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know uh, Gaston Acurio is one of the most famous chef or Peruvian chef all over the world. It was delicious. I'm in love with the Peruvian kitchen now. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so proud. Met, I think we met uh, Astrid. Oh, yeah. She came into our room. Yeah, and was, yeah, yeah, yeah she said hi. Said hi and uh, Gaston ex-wife. Okay, <laughs> but they are friends. <laughs> all right. Friend. Friend. Okay, we're not going to comment on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, because because I know I'm Peruvian. So That's not our cup of tea. <laughs> no, but I'm so proud that you guys enjoyed our, our food and something that we are really proud of. Yeah, I can imagine. It's amazing. It's super. It was super delicious. We had the best time. Yeah. That, that's good. And I know that you've been traveling all over the world since North America, now Latin America. So how is going to be and how is this uh, this journey being? It's great. We've been on tour for five months now, and um, it's uh, just a beautiful tour, um, seeing so many different places which are all very beautiful, meeting so many nice people and now for the first time, for the very first time in South America, it's just great. We love it, but uh, in one week we're heading back to Berlin for a little for a little break. But, yeah. For a little break of five days. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the German or like the European festival summer is going to start. But at least five days, we won't complain. Yeah, that's a rock star life that you are having right now, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know, honestly. What, what does it mean? Yeah. But how do you find rock star life? But yeah. uh, I feel like we are very, we try to live kind of healthy, to be honest. So, uh, and not consume too much alcohol and bad food and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a, like a typical rock star life, to be honest. <laughs> it's a modern. It's a very, yeah, yeah, definitely. And a healthy one. <laughs> a healthy one and a, yeah, kind of boring rock star life, probably. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, well, let's back travel in time uh, when you guys just started. It was uh, maybe on 2020 when the pandemic started, and this first album, which is a uh, rookery, was an amazing. And in middle of a pandemic, did you imagine four years later you'll be having a show here in Peru? Definitely not. No, it, it was always on our bucket list to tour around Latin America, and uh, yeah, it's just such a dream coming true for us to actually do it right now. And uh, And yeah, the, the reactions and the, the especially the fans of Louis, they are so grateful, or like so so lovely and so so kind and super um, enthusiastic about music in general. So we feel very very welcome, even though we are not from here. So it's it's such a such a great pleasure to be here. Honestly, people are very lovely yeah, and very helpful because I don't speak like my my Spanish is very very bad. I was, I can only speak very broken Spanish, and everybody's like very. Uh, yeah, very gentle with me, I would say. <laughs> yeah, and I know that for a fact that they're gonna sing with you all over the, the, the lyrics and the songs that you are gonna have uh, for this show tonight. We are very excited. <laughs> so we already recognize that there are some people uh, from Peru who um, probably uh, apparently adoring our music, and we met some people um, earlier today. It was great meeting them, and yeah, very excited for tonight. I think it's very That's great, guys. And I know that when you started, you and Finn are relatives. Yeah, cousins, actually. Yeah, yeah. and you both uh, started this band, and then Luca, the other Finn, Finn Thomas, and everyone, Jonathan, yeah. and it then came a family, which is this, this giant Rook's history, and I'm so excited, and correct me if I'm wrong, what's the meaning of giant Rook's? 
Oh, what's the meaning of giant rooks? I feel like we, um, so at the very start, of course, there was no meaning. It was just like, um, it was just a five, five strangers together in one room. And then I think like, like we filled it with meaning uh, throughout over the course of like 10 years now, like nine years. And uh, I feel like, yeah, just as you said, it was, it was very nice. It, we, I think we are kind of a family and we spend every day together. And uh, it's so nice that this family is, is growing right now. Even in Latin America, I would say like, all the people and all of our new fans and all of the old fans, of course, they uh, they became kind of like a part of this family, and it's uh, it's very beautiful right so far. Yeah, I, I say that. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I have a theory. When when I first uh, heard or read your name, like uh, Giant Rooks, I thought that it was going to be like a situation when you are starting something important and you're a rookie. Yeah, that's cool in sports. But then you know that you're going to be giants. So it's like uh, something that you are n new at it, but you know that you're going to be huge and important. I, I thought at, at first impression, I thought it was going to be that meaning. I never thought about it like that, but yeah, I, I love it. I love it. We don't really have any meaning for our band name, so I, I take that. I'm sold. But uh, yeah, honestly, it's not then... If you see it like that, it's a nice contradiction. If it's like, it's a giant and it's a rookie, but like, there's something in between, bro. Exactly, and I'll be so proud if, if you uh, could get that meaning for, for the band for a future, or maybe I know that your, your uh, meaning is the real one. Yeah. But at first, I thought that, but then I Google it and I search for it and I found like a history with a bike and something that you and Finn did. Definitely, I feel like um, since we do not really have any meaning for our bands, and we just thought it was like two cool words to combine. So I feel like everybody can fill it with their own kind of reality and own kind of meaning. So uh, no, it's very. I love that. <laughs> I, we have a one one more meaning for our band name now on the on the endless list. That's cool. I'll be so proud, guys. So uh, when you go back and get back to Germany, what are you gonna do after this? a lot of several months traveling and giving shows and shows. Uh, I know it could be pretty exhausting, but what are you going to do in Germany? Trying to live a normal life and do unpack my suitcase, do some laundry, honestly, <laughs> like, <laughs> it is yeah. like that. Yeah, Doing some laundry, seeing the doctor, yeah. uh, if everything's still in <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, very looking forward to a nice summer in Berlin and all the festivals in Germany and Europe, so a balanced life between normal life and the festivals and stuff, so yeah. And what about new music, maybe working in something new? Not, not is not the time and you are going to have the time for resting. Um. I would say both, probably. We already work, we are already working on, on new songs at the moment. So uh, it's really nice to actually um, spend, like, especially when you're on tour for um, that kind of like a long time. Um, and as I said, we've been on tour for five months now. So I feel like it's very nice to actually have some songs that you're that you can work on while you're on tour and uh, yeah we're doing that um, not super ambitious to be honest but like I really I re we have a very very big folder of unreleased demos and I really like to some sometimes listen to them and then of course work on, on them too but nothing there are no releases planned we definitely need some rest after this tour yeah and I know but it's for sure that you are learning something that you maybe can imagine at this point from this tour, Faith in the Future. So now I know that for a fact, you are now uh, knowing something else that could um, take it for another net level to your music. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I know, I know that it's gonna be a great show. Uh, enjoy our country because we're gonna enjoy your show tonight, one in a lifetime. And I hope that it's not gonna be the first and only um, day that experience that you're having here in our country. Yeah, we would love to come back actually for solo sh for solo shows and a solo tour uh, to Latin America and to Peru. It would be amazing. Uh, we're already in love with the country and with the food and with the culture, so uh, it's on our list. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you both, and I hope you uh, will, I will join you to Astrid y Gaston next uh, opportunity. Thanks, you're invited. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too, man. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, giant Rook. Uh, came uh, to Radio Planeta. I'm so nervous right now. I don't know what I'm saying, but thank you so much, guys. Please enjoy our country. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks for so having much. us.
Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>